process of mixing zinc phosphate cement. Zinc phosphate cement is used, we'll, we'll um, see two examples of the procedure for mixing zinc phosphate cement. One is looting and the other one is for a base. So the first step is to fill the cap up to the dome line with powder. And she's just tapping down to level it out. Okay. And then as soon as you get that, you pour it onto the glass slab that's been chilled. And now you'll see she's dividing the material into about six fairly equal portions. You can start by first dividing them into four, and then she'll take some extra from one of the piles. So now that you have about six piles to go with. So the next step is to empty six drops. You want to turn the container completely upside down and let six equal size drops fall onto the slab. And now you're ready to mix. So she will incorporate one of the increments of powder and you need to spread the material over a wide area because of the exothermic reaction and then you just simply add the additional increments in, in somewhat of a circular motion or a figure eight type motion and like I said before the first consistency we're trying to achieve is a looting consistency that always comes first because of it's it's more of a stringy whereas a base consistency is going to be more of a, a ball that you can roll into a ball so she's getting close and you try to incorporate the material into one area so now let's see and you can see the material as it, it strings off the spatula okay so now that's the first consistency we've achieved and now she will continue to add powder to get it into a more stiff base-like material. And, and ideally, once you get to that consistency, you will be able to actually roll it into a ball or, or sometimes it's a nice to roll it into a cigar shape if you're putting it into a temporary or into a re restorative situation where you want to um, cut off pieces of the cigar shape but it really doesn't matter. So she's definitely got that consistency. You can see she's rolling it into a ball and we've achieved the final base consistency. And that is all that's to it. You want to, now this is a very sticky and uh, hard to remove powder once the powder and liquid are incorporated so we ask that you use baking soda when you're cleaning your tray and the material will come right off if you don't use baking soda uh, it's very very difficult to remove um, the tenacious uh, consistency